Let's now get you some updates from Venezuela. For decades now, fuel subsidies allowed Venezuelans to essentially fill their tanks for free. But in a historic policy shift, Venezuela has now scaled back the long-standing subsidy and it's now selling the recently received Iranian fuel under a new price system. Our next report takes you through the chaos caused by this policy shift in Venezuela. Take a look. Venezuela was known for having the cheapest gasoline in the world. But starting June, the South American oil-producing nation rolled back decades of heavy subsidies in response to fuel shortages in the oil-rich nation. The new model features dual prices, dollar payments and private import permits, ending the state's 50-year monopoly on fuel supply. As the black gold receives an unforeseen price hike, Stricter identity controls are put in place for subsidized fuel in the oil-rich capital Caracas. In this two-tiered system, drivers can buy up to 120 liters per month in local currency, but have to pay half a dollar per liter above that amount. This change has led to long lines at service stations, leaving drivers confused. The plans roll out confused workers and consumers across the country. Venezuelans are now using U.S. dollars to pay for gas at stations in their oil-rich country. And many consumers are facing issues in payment as some stations are not accepting local currency. I only had three dollars, which was six liters of gasoline, according to the rate. But it's still bad and very poorly organized because we're in a super-rich petroleum country. But this poor organization that we have at the government level doesn't help us at all. Several stations in Caracas remained closed as staff and security forces meant to oversee the distribution were awaiting instructions from state-run oil company Petroleos de Venezuela, known as PDVSA. Stations do have gasoline, but there is still no clarity whether the sale should be at subsidized price or dollarized price outside Caracas in the western border state of Tachira. Many stations never opened, while in many places, stations quickly ran out of the subsidized gasoline. Scarcity encouraged a black market, forcing people to pay at least $2 per liter. I don't think we can trust anything because there is discrimination as for those people who do not have the homeland card. It seems that we do not have rights. Iran defied U.S. threats and sent five tankers of fuel to Venezuela, which is suffering from a gasoline shortage. With this move, the Nicolas Maduro's government seeks to end chronic shortages with gasoline imports from Iran. But it is also risking the anger of people who are already suffering terrible hardship. While consumers are thankful that gasoline has arrived, there is also concern about how they would pay once they have received their quota.